Do you think I have a speck? No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> to my channel this is Dode here yeah, as you already know your inconsistent queen <laughs> and I'm here with my younger sister her name is Mary Rose so we're just going to have a chilled conversation like just just really and as you can already see from the title of the video my younger sister she's 18 years right now so she's really not a baby and I can be having these kind of conversations with her She's going to give me dating advice because your girl needs dating advice. Mm, not really, but like from her. I just want to hear what she has to say. And this is going to be an unfiltered video. So, May Rose, what's up? Fine. Okay. <laughs> okay, so as you know or do not know your sister is currently single how long do you think i've been single for two months two months yes <laughs> how did you know this because we've not had this kind of conversation before i know when you eat breakfast <laughs> So we're just going to say, okay, so how do you think that I was in that relationship? Do you do you think that I was like committed to you the relationship? Very committed. Yeah, we stand on the same because there are things we have that we don't buy now that that flex was this poor shoot. I cannot really mention a couple, but I know that yeah. there's a lot of flex. Flex and chills now i'm in like the dating pool so have you ever like have you ever been in any sort of relationship before <laughs> no so you've never had a boyfriend nope and you've never liked somebody enough so you see that you've never liked somebody enough to date them or i i don't like boys so it's not like i'm a lesbian but i don't just like boys they are just too disgusting i don't know why but i don't like them. Maybe because i went to no girls school from my just one to SS3 and I've not really had any conversation with any guy or anything it just boys are disgusting very disgusting so you you like girls is what you're no saying. I said I like guys I like them when it comes to like just be my friends chill yeah like my guys but when it comes to relationship or something so when it comes to relationship you prefer girls or what no I don't know Maybe very soon I would like a guy maybe. Maybe when I'm twenty years. <laughs> okay. Okay, because I wanted to say that if you have if you know this week I've not seen you. You've not seen me? This house. Pray that was my brother. Yeah. So you were saying, so I wanted to ask you like maybe from your own experience with guys, maybe you would have um maybe you'd have like an advice for me because like, what would you advise somebody that has just you know left a relationship that was long like if the person is in the dating pool what advice would you give that person you should also should not chase what is not chasing them that is number one you should get because if you chase what is not chasing you you suffer from a very big heartbreak so what you mean is like i shouldn't like chase a man that is not interested in me is yes. that what you mean? because some people may just be your friend and you may think like the person likes you or something then mm. it's just in the friendship so mm. and you start chasing maybe from hello guy to hello baby yeah <laughs> yes and so you are saying that you should understand your the 
the person sh you should understand your friendship with somebody yeah before you move to the next thing because that's why i say understanding is very very important okay so you you some people can just be talking to you casually and yes. because they are talking to you every day you feel like maybe they are into something no, else yes. or like they really like you and want something with you and then you now progress without the person coming out clear to see what they really want yes. okay that's number one that's something should know mm. another one is indecision it's a decision that's something you should know again because if you suffer from indecision you you have a decision but you're not sure that decision is the right one okay like, so do you understand what i'm trying to say let me so if if i'm talking to somebody yes and the person says that they like me but yes. then i'm not sure that i want to be with this person that's already a decision like yeah. being unsure of that person yes is how i feel so i shouldn't progress with it because i'm not sure like what do you mean now what you said about that person like you might have said i like you and you're like are you sure you like me or do i like this person yeah back? and you saying do i like the person back is saying you like the person really because if you think about <laughs> this is very stupid but like if you think about such things if something like that bugs you uh, if you somewhere that i like you and you're not sure you like the person that's already you liking the person so i think it goes both ways because if i understand that you might like this person but you're not sh really sure but then me i'm not going to progress with it if i'm not sure that i like the person because you don't want to be with somebody that you are not sure of one thing you may not like maybe the person you may like somebody that the person may be fair and you'll be saying ah i like this person the person is nice so but why the person fair i mean i like that too yeah that's something that may just direct your uh, attention and you'll be like no i don't want the game uh, james we are doing a video and you are constantly disturbing youtube channel so that's number two that indecision is a decision so you are saying some people can be focused on very trivial things like how somebody looks but then you really Heights. like yes hi accent accent morning love height accent you might be you might be focused on those things but you actually like them but they are just you know focused on the tribal things that really is going to assume is something that is a total turn off like any man that shouts at you is somebody that does not value you at all because a gentleman never raises voice at you man you might raise voice at you block his number okay <laughs> so in my quest for getting a new boyfriend i should avoid people that a hot temper a hot temper people that would raise their voices at me and raise their voice at me okay Noted. Moving on. Someone that's too clingy. I mean, you may like someone that will be calling you every time, chatting every time. It's not everybody that like it. Yeah, I mean, I'll just block you. But so you don't like clingy people at all. So even if you like somebody, you don't like want them to no. always be there. Mm -hmm. You need some sort of space. A lot. So you can do like a distance relationship. Very well. Hundred <laughs> percent. Okay. Don't be like your sister. No, don't worry. <laughs> it's constantly in distance relationships. Okay. What else? Um taking. What again? What again? What again? What again? What again? Somebody that is that can give, please. I don't know, that one should just enter, but somebody that is not stingy, because some people are very stingy. Don't put when they get to know you the first time, they'll be like, Queen, let me take you to spa. Queen, let me buy you food. Queen, let me send you money for this. So, let me send money for that. Then, after like six months, or maybe, and you did ask people for money, said normally, they'll like to give you. After like six months, the person will become very stingy. When you need the person the most, please. Don't want stingy people. So, people that are willing to provide. Every time. <laughs> Do it every single thing. Okay. Yeah, I like a person that's willing to provide. I like people that want to give. You know, kind people. I like kind people. Like people that are not stingy, like you said. Because I'm not. 
so yeah that is noted so these are like general dating tips so since you know me personally and you know like my flaws or how i can be in a relationship and whatnot are there like personal dating advice that you would give me like okay queen like, this one is for you because these ones that you just gave me are like general tips yeah that can apply to anybody but for me if you think that normally i'm a certain way because apparently you know me more than i know so if you think that i'm a certain way in relationships you can say okay so this is how you normally are you can you know stop this and be this or you can start this stuff like that mm, one thing i know for sure is that you don't care that's one that's a problem you have but you've never seen it because you've had it right from then okay. somebody told you Queenet, you let me see Queenet, you're annoying me why I'm not telling you you will never in your life that person to tell you it's really okay. you're not telling me no problem oh. that's what i've seen that's what i know me that's what i've been seeing <laughs> but like i don't know if that's it but I feel so like if somebody says that i got them upset and they are not ready to tell me you, why i will just, just forget, forget about, about it. it for no matter if future that's not tell you you're not you're not persuasive is it persuasive or persuasive something yeah i understand you you will not tell the person like you know the person know you're bothered but later you'll be like what is that you're talking to what is wrong with your kitchen did that is it you'll be talking to yourself okay but you will never tell what you're what is that you to you did, is it because i match your leg you're angry or yeah this? but you'll be saying by yourself ah, is it this story that i carry that is it this pain i carry that's so the person does not know that you I'm actually, actually yeah, you're bothered but yes maybe you should make people know the cake <laughs> okay 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 i think that what else but you don't have to cut people off very fast okay you cut people off very fast and i don't know if it's good or it's bad maybe good maybe it's bad mm. but at some point it's good at some point it's so you think I should be giving people like second chances or what? Yes. That's the thing. Even second chance will make us late. Yeah. So nobody's perfect. Okay. So let me know. So we're done loosening my hair and she has given me dating advice. I will take that. I will be I'll show people that I care. I would um, not cut people off so easily. I'll give people second chances. Uh, and then I'm definitely going to find somebody that wants to like, spend all their money on me. Mm. Very necessary. <laughs> yeah. So now we're just going to see the kind of my sister says she's disgusted by me and that worries me a lot but of course you have like a description of guys that you possibly like so what would you say that your spec looks like hmm. i'm short that should be tall that one is very very 100 percent um so you tall guy accent i'm not saying you should have uk accent or us accent or something but your voice should be nice you know, people have scattered voices and it's very very disgusting that's one thing that is very disgusting you know how to talk it's very bad um have time for yourself don't be clingy don't disturb me i feel like when you grow up you would want somebody that is a little bit clingy because everybody wants anyways not clingy clingy per se but just like somebody that would be there because the way you sound, you sound like the person should just be doing their own thing and you'll be doing your own thing. You like going out, go out alone. <laughs> but you like going out. I don't like going out. I know what people don't understand. I don't like going out. I like staying in the house. If I'm going out, I'm going for something important. Maybe, maybe I'll now go to somewhere. My friend will be like, come, let's go there. I don't like going out. Ask people. I feel my like friends. you like going out. That's what you are always outside. outside. And when I go out and you ask me where I go to, you yeah, I went to Unicow and then I went to do this thing or I went to get my. But business. you go for parties. How many times? Two times. Good. 
even that from first when Fatima, as I said, I'm not green my, by myself. I'm not green. I don't like green. I don't like cartoons. Okay, guys. So me, I don't have a speck. Do you think I have a speck? No. <laughs> At all. You don't have a speck. Why do you think I don't have a speck? Because anybody that you just fix, anybody that you fix, how would I fix it? Anybody you feel that you like. You don't have you don't you don't care if person is ugly. You don't care if person is fair, <laughs> dark, brown. <laughs> a fair person is just who's brown. Who's no, brown? I just said brown. A <laughs> <laughs> fair person is just cool and you like the person personality. Then you're good. To so I'm more of a personality person than you. Yeah, you don't care if person is short or something. <sighs> but I like voices. Yeah, you like deep voice, not like deep words. You just put accent or something. Sure, you accent, accent. I don't care for accent. I just like a nice voice. Okay, guys. So this is about it. It's just a really, like I said earlier, a really chilled video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you should. Um, and I will be dropping this kind of videos, just really chilled type videos. Um, so please do well to leave a comment, to like, to subscribe, to share. Also, look at my hair. It's really dirty, but like it has grown. That's what I'm showing you. I'm showing you how much it has grown since the last time that I made a video. So guys, see you in my next video. Say bye to me, Rose. Bye. <laughs>